Hello everybody, this is Dilup and welcome back to my Factorio tutorial series. Today we're going to be continuing our Combinator tutorials and showing how to set up a smart Covarex enrichment centrifuge. So as you know, the Covarex enrichment takes 40 uranium and it outputs 41. And you don't want to send that extra piece of uranium on through the line, you want to loop it back into itself and fill the machine with it. But you do want the excess to keep on going. So we can do that with counters and combinators pretty easily. So to explain this better, I would like to set up a little loop here and show how um, counting using an inserter works. So if we set up the loop here and we put our inserter in that loop and we set up two decider combinators, we can set this first one to be uranium and if uranium is over zero then you're going to output uranium as an input count. And then we're going to loop it into itself. So the reason this wire is looped into itself is what will happen is it will read one piece of uranium and it will output a one, which would then get put into the input. And it'll keep outputting every tick, it'll make a circle. But once the inserter picks up another piece, it'll add it to that and create a two, which would loop in a circle. And that'll work as a counter. So then what we need to do is put this inserter to input into the combinator. And let's go ahead and put the combinator on the power pole so that we can read it. This inserter we're just going to always have enabled, and we're going to read the hand contents on a pulse. It's very important that it's on a pulse and not a hold, because if it's on a hold, this combinator will count more than one per item. So let's go ahead and throw a couple pieces of uranium on here. As you can see, the, this inserter is picking up three uranium at a time and it is counting up. And it'll keep counting up indefinitely. So how do we make it so it can reset? Well, we can do that fairly easily by changing this signal to a green. If green is over, the, over zero, then it'll count. <clears throat> I'm sorry, let's say that green is equal to zero, it'll count. On this, we're going to read if uranium is over 40, then you can output a green one. And then we take the input or the output here and put it into the input here. And we take this input and feed it into the output. So what will happen is this will count up to 40 and then it will reset and count up to 40 again. And we can watch that happen here. So once it hits 40, it resets the timer. So with that concept, we can move it over to this and create a smart system. So the first thing I want to do is make sure to set up a filter inserter outputting the uranium-238. And then we want another filter inserter that is outputting only uranium-235, which apparently we currently have some in here. Let's go ahead and clear it out. Then you want to set up an inserter on this chest and going back into the system itself. The reason for this is you want to input the same uranium back into the machine, but then you also want to output this. This doesn't need to be a chest, it can be a belt or anything else that you need it to go to. Then we're going to set up two decider combinators. These are going to be set up the same way that we set those ones up with a little bit of something in between. So the first step that I want to do is set up this first decider combinator to be a green signal is over 1 or equal to 0, then you're going to output the uranium count as an input count. We will feed it into itself and then we will also take this inserter as an input. Let's go ahead and put this on the power pole so that we could read the signal. Next, we're going to set this guy up so that if uranium is over over zero, you are going to output a one green. The reason for this is we need to make sure that this inserter actually picks up a piece of uranium before we reset the counter. So I'm going to set this input to this inserter. Let's use a green wire so our signals don't get crossed. Then on the output of this one, we need to input it into the timer. We also need to set these, these inserters so that they only work when they need to be. So for this one that's going into the chest, let's make sure to override the stack size and set it to 1 because we only want it to pick up one piece of uranium. This enable condition 
is only going to be working if uranium is over 40. And this inserter will only work if uranium is less than 40. Then we just need to get the input. Let's go ahead and just tie it to the power pole that has our signal. So as we can see, this inserter is disabled and the bottom inserter is enabled. That's because the uranium count is currently zero. This should work, so let's go ahead and turn it on. I say should because I may have forgotten something here. We will see. <clears throat> ah, that's right. Okay, this needs to be enabled all the time. It also needs to read hand contents on a pulse. So as we count the uranium, once it hits 40, it will disable this inserter. And it will enable this inserter, which is now putting into the uranium. Okay, our timer didn't reset. Is there a reason for that? We need to read hand contents on a pulse. Again, I said I felt like I forgot something, and that was it. Let's try it again. Before this finishes, we do need to reset Okay, it should just work, I think. Okay, we have a count of 32. Let's go ahead and reset this real quick. Let's give it a green one, and let's tie this in. And then let's turn this off and pull this uranium out. So as we count up to 40 here, that inserter will pull one piece of uranium and the rest goes back into the machine. And it can keep going like that indefinitely. I'm going to go ahead and leave that, those mistakes in here because for one, I can't be bothered to edit this video and two, I can't be bothered to re-record it again. <laughs> but this should work indefinitely. So basically what's happening is this inserter is counting the pieces of uranium. As long as the pieces of uranium are below 40, this inserter is putting them back into the machine. Once it hits above 40, this inserter will pick up a single piece of uranium and put it into the chest. As that happens, this inserter will send the reset signal to this decider combinator. I'm sorry, this decider combinator will send the reset signal to this one, which will reset the count, thereby re-enabling this inserter and disabling this one again, so that it can't pick up a second piece of uranium. And this will work infinitely and you can make all the nuclear weapons you want. All of them. <laughs>